What is up YouTube? My name is James and I'm bringing you guys a brand new video here today and so today what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to edit photos in the snow. I did tutorials like this last year but I've updated my style and my editing has improved a lot since then and I want to show you guys the better way to edit fit pictures in the snow. In this video we're going to be going through three basic edits on three different photos. Pretty much more of like a really cold arctic tundra look where the blues are really accentuated. Then a second one where it's much more of a like an urban style edit, and the last one is going to be more of a clean edit with just really clean white snow and it looks really beautiful. And then lastly, towards the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit a photo with a preset that I've actually made specifically for snow photos and to see how they work out exactly and then go into a more advanced edit from there. And if you're interested in actually buying the presets that I use in this video, the link is in the description below to my Selfie page where you can buy a preset pack specifically custom made for snow photos that include five custom made presets. Let's get started with this video. Okay guys, so here are the photos that we're going to be editing in today's video. So we have this first one out in Tudor City by Grand Central. We got a really crazy snowstorm going on here snow on the bridge kind of dirty and my friend Eric right there we got another one of a uh, radio city it's pretty dark a little bit underexposed but that's okay because now none of the highlights are gonna be um, blown out we can recover all of the shadows in the darkness but we can't recover highlights remember that when taking snow photos always better to underexpose than to overexpose when taking snow photos this one's a Radio City. I think it's dope. This person right here with the umbrella kind of makes the photos. All of the red lights mixed with the red of the Radio City just makes this photo absolutely incredible. I freaking love it. This next one is of this really, really cool building out in the village. It um, just looks beautiful. And because the village is in a very, very like uh, active area during snowstorms, all the snow is very white still. And with the snow falling, it looks very, very beautiful. So, let's get straight into this first photo here. Now, I don't have any set way of editing this photo. I'm just going to be editing it the way that I would usually go and edit a snow photo. I'm not following a specific order, a specific set of steps. It's just my instinct and how I would edit it. So, the first thing I would do straight up is just increase the contrast to around 35. It's what I usually do when it comes to all urban slash snow photos. The next thing I'm going to do here is probably lower the highlights a little bit. I'm going to lower them, and you're like, James, why would you do that? But just trust me, you'll see in about 10 seconds. So next thing, we're going to up the shadows. Up the shadows so you can recover more of that snow in the photo. So we're going to bring that to around like 70. Next thing, this is what makes or breaks snow photos. Always up the whites. The whites are so important because the snow, if you look at the photo, Everything is white. The snow is white, and there's so much snow all over the photo that you, when you up the whites, it increases the, the the brightness of each white particle, which is all the snow particles, and it makes your photo much brighter and brings out all the snow. So right there, off the bat, the whites are so important. Next, we're gonna bring up the black just a little bit so we can f mess with the tone curve. Next, we're gonna bring the clarity up so we can get more detail in the snow. We're gonna bring it to around 24. That looks good. And next thing is the tone curve. So we're gonna take our first point in the bottom corner. We're gonna bring it up like right here, like right there. That's good. You want it there because you want to get that fade, and it makes it the, just the picture look very, very, very like more more clean. I my English is terrible right now. Wow, I can't believe it. Next thing we're gonna grab the second point here and bring it downwards just like that, and really get that contrast in that photo that we lost when we brought up the first point. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring our third point and bring it you can either bring it downwards more which gives it more of a dark tone or you can bring it a little more upwards. I personally like a little more upwards, bring out more of the whites and the highlights in the photo. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is mess with the HSL. So, when you're dealing with snow photos, you usually don't tend to mess with the with the warm colors, usually red to green. You don't end up having to touch them at all in any of these um, categories, but you usually do have to mess with the blues and the purples and the aquas. So let's first off see what happens when we mess with the blue hue. You don't want to do that. That looks terrible in almost every situation. So we're not going to do that. We're gonna, what we are going to do is we're going to decrease the saturation a little bit for the blues, just like that. And then we're going to up the. Uh, we can either decrease or increase the luminance. We're going to bring it more upwards. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I want more of a. Uh, more of a saturated blue like that. I kind of want it more frosty and more like a 
like a tundra kind of look. I actually want to make the temperature instead blue and then make the saturation less blue, like right there. Now we're really getting that photo to be like, this is like a f crazy, crazy winter storm and it's wild and it just looks super cold outside because blue accentuates coldness. Next, we're going to add some red highlights and then, uh, and then make some like, uh, very, 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 very subtle blue shadows just like that. And really now, now we're really getting there with that look. Next, uh, we, we should be doing at the beginning is always enabling profile corrections. But because I didn't do it in the beginning, I'm not going to do it here. All it's going to do is decrease the vignetting from the edges of the lens and then make the uh, distortion uh, much more or less visible. But we're not going to do that because it's not that important. Um, I kind of like the vignetting, actually. Um, and then, uh, then we're going to add a little bit of dehazing, just like that. And then uh, not add any vignetting for this one because I think it's already enough with the natural vignetting of the lens. And um, after looking at it now, I kind of want to add a little bit more whites, like that, maybe a little bit less, right around there, and bam, just like that, we have a, an amazing, amazing snow photo, where it's like, holy crap, that's awesome, and it looks just perfect, in my opinion, this photo can't get any better. So the next thing we're going to do is go to the next photo right here where we're going to learn how to do more of a clean edit, okay? This is going to be much more of a clean edit and much more just white, nice looking snow. So first thing we're going to do right off the bat is, of course, up the contrast. I actually want to up the exposure to around 0.20, get more of a higher exposure. We're going to decrease the highlights, and then we're going to up the shadows a little bit to around plus 55. And then the next thing, the most important thing, obviously, is the whites. For this one, we're going to upload the whites to around 70, and then increase the blacks, or mm, keep the blacks around negative 7, because I, I know where I want to take the photo in the tone curve. If I add too much blacks, it's not going to add enough contrast in the tone curve, but if I decrease it a little bit, keep, keep right there, I'll get the blacks that I want. And next thing, well, with this photo, because it's more of a clean look, you can choose, okay, do I want more of a gritty look here? Where the snow has more detail, or more of a softer look like this. I'm I'm gonna opt for more of the softer look because I'm kind of going from that clean, that white snow, really really just like nice and really beautiful looking. So we're gonna lower our clarity, get more of that soft look. And next thing we're gonna do is increase the tone curve as always, just like that. And that's our tone curve right there. Keep that really really clean, beautiful, really all that white and such. Next thing we're going to do is mess with the HSL. Because we got some warm colors here, the building is red, we're going to be able to make, mess with the HSL here with the warm colors as well. Actually, more the warm colors than even the cold colors, because all the white isn't going to register much as blue as if we look here. See? It's still registering as blue, but not as much. So what we're going to do is we're going to up the saturation for the reds. I think we really bring out the color in this building. It's going to look really, really nice. And same thing with the yellows as well. I think that looks really, really nice. Actually, I want to make the, the building a little more red itself by increasing the uh, orange to be more of a reddish look. Next thing with the luminances, we're going to bring our luminances up a little bit. It uh, brightens each color. It makes pretty much increases the value of each color, which just makes the makes the colors look better, in my opinion. I want to increase it with the snow, because when we decrease with the snow, it's going to make more of a grosser look. But if we increase with the snow, it's going to make it much more brighter and cleaner. And if we decrease saturation a little bit on the blues, it's going to be even more cleaner. So see that? Gross. Pretty. So that's nice. That's, the, that's, what, you, it's, that's what you want. That's what you want. Next thing we're going to do is go to the highlights and the split toning. And, and honestly, we don't even really need it. We're just going to make the highlights more red. And then the shadows are just a little bit more blue. And right there, now we got that really, really nice look on the, the shadows and such. I love the blue shadows. And again, we forgot to do profile corrections, but it's okay. Honestly, I think here it looks really good. You should always do this in the beginning. Don't be like James. Always do it in the beginning. But enabling pro profile corrections right here actually makes the picture look really, really nice. And I really, really like it. Now, the ch choice to do vignetting. I think I'm going to add a little bit of vignetting just because it's going to add a little more contrast to the sides of the picture. And I think it really, really is needed there. I think that looks nice. And then dehazing. Um, I don't want to add too much, just a little bit. Get a little bit of dehazing all right here. Get more detail of the snow and such. And then lastly, we're going to just add a little bit more contrast. Decrease the blacks just a little bit right there. And then uh, maybe 
maybe just increase the whites just a little bit more. And bam, now we have another finished photo, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Next thing we got here is our Radio City picture. And now instead, inst now instead of actually starting from scratch, we're going to actually check out the presets that I mentioned in the beginning of the video and we're gonna apply them to the photo and see which one looks best so the first preset we got here is Dumbo now here this looks nice um, the temperature would need to be decreased a little bit right here if we we're gonna use it that looks a lot better right now and if we we're gonna increase the whites just like that now bam now we're talking now we see a really really nice photo we could even uh, take our graduated filter right here Go right just like this and increase the exposure. Wow, it's sirens are going crazy outside. Increase the exposure like this and as the whites as well, not the whites, the shadows. And then really bring this over more. And now we got a really, really nice gradient of exposure coming in. And now we can rotate this as well. Let's rotate it. Just a little, that's too much. Bam, let's actually lower the exposure just a little bit. And now that looks really, really nice as well. We're going to make another copy of it and then try preset number two. Let's try preset number two. Now let's reset our photo. And now try the Chinatown preset. This looks really nice as well. I really, really enjoy the color of the building right here. It gets more of that urban like vibe to it. And I really, really like that a lot. Again, the same thing I would do is apply this gradient right here. And just let that do its thing because it looks really, really great right here. I think that looks awesome. I don't think this might even be better than the original edit I had on the photo. I really, really liked it a lot. Now that's good right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to increase the whites just a little bit. Just like that. We're going to uh, go in and just look at what this has here. It has some nice blue shadows that make it look really, really nice. So next thing we're going to do is make another copy of it. Go to reset once again. Go to the flat iron preset and let's see what it looks this is much over neutral preset the yellows are really really prominent in this photo so we're going to do is make it more blue so with this one it's a, the blues are a little more desaturated so i don't really like how it looks i'm going to say this one is a really a no-go for this photo i think it's much more useful when you have a lot more color in your photo next thing right here is times square this one's a bit dark so we're going to do is increase the whites a little bit more and that looks a lot better the uh, blues are desaturated, the cool colors are desaturating, and so are the reds a little bit. It seems like it, but it's actually not. Um, it's pretty simple. But um, but yeah, again, I only like this one unless we were going to increase the saturation right here. That thing that looks a lot better now. Um, let me get another copy. I think that's a good, good, um, decent base edit right there. And then we got the FDR uh, preset right here. This one's very, very dark. But all we're going to do is just increase the exposure right here. And bam, now we got a nicer, much better photo. And now the reason we do, do these tweaks when you apply presets is because presets are, are base model edits. They're simply made just to give you a base idea of what you may want to do. And then from there you tweak it, you add more adjustments, and then you have a finished photo. Presets are super, super helpful when it comes to editing my photos. I do a lot of, um, I do a lot of work with my presets and I, uh, it helps me a lot. I have a lot more other preset um, packs. I don't have them on this computer because I uh, just started using this computer actually. But if you actually are interested in buying this preset pack here with the snow, you can go to my uh, Selfie um, page. It's in the description below. This preset here is actually on sale for ten dollars. I uh, it was fifteen. I made it ten dollars since I'm making this video and if you guys are interested in it there's five presets as you can see right here and each of them have a different unique look to it when editing snow photos if you do happen to buy one DM me on Instagram and let me know I would love to um, love to thank you personally and uh, really um, I really appreciate it um, I already got a couple sales already from my other video and it's really awesome and I'm I'm super happy to see that people are genuinely interested in the things that I'm putting out here anyway let's go back here Let's go back and uh, look at all the edits we did um, today. So this first one here is this blue tundra, and I think that's awesome. I really, really, really love this photo, and uh, I think this snow edit worked out really, really well. Really get it, get those blue tones. This next one here, this was the uh, this was the um, first preset that we used. This is preset number two, which I personally like the best for this photo. This was preset number four, I believe, and then preset number five. And I think that uh, 
most of them worked out pretty well and of course with presets you obviously have to change my make adjustments to whatever you uh whatever you get whenever you apply the preset again it's just a base model for your photo so that you can uh get going and uh get an idea or a certain style on it that you like and then let's go let's go to what we uh, originally started with here this was the original photo that we uh started with um that we started here and this is what we ended up with um I, all i did was just crop this one in more and uh give it a four by five for instagram and then uh, here, we just have a little bit different, a little more contrast in this one, I think. But I think overall, pretty much the same. Really, really close. I got, I got the edit pretty close, honestly. And um, next thing here is the Radio City. This is the finished copy. I did have to transform this photo horizontally, or sorry, vertically, to get the R and the person to fit all in the photo at once. Overall, but I think the editing came out really, really well with this one. And this is the other one right here. I think... Uh, Besides, like the fact that it's so vertical, this one is good in the sense I really, really love this um, this um gradient right here. The, the, sorry, not the gradient, the graduated filter of the exposure. I really, really like that a lot. But then this one just has a lot more clean look on all of this here that I really, really like. So um, both of them are great, honestly. Um, and then this one here, this is the um, this is the uh, final version that I added, and then this is the new version. I actually like this version a lot better. I think the yellow works a lot more with this one rather than the blue tones here. I don't know. I think both of them have their ups and downs. I think this one looks better with the yellow and the much more cleaner snow. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to buy the presets that I made for this uh, tutorial on Selfie. Link in the description below. And lastly, guys, my name is James. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.